Hey, what's up guys? Houston here. Are you trying to figure out, should you start with American Express or Capital One, not only for your bank, but for your first business card starting out? Okay, now this video is going to help you. So let's look at American Express, all right? So what happens is when we first start our business and stuff, we thinking about, oh, let's get American Express card, right? Now here's the thing about it. People would tend to want to go for American Express Platinum or Gold. And because of the status, and I get it, right? Hey, we all want that status. But here's the thing about it. You have to consider most people, they're focusing on points, right? If you're a new startup business, I ain't worried about points. I'm worried about trying to get as much money as I can, right? And so if you agree with me, put a one in the, in the uh, description. Now, here's the thing about it. American Express Platinum is $600 a year just to have this card, all right? Now, the gold is $295, but it will be changing. It'll be increasing up to $300, all right? And that's starting February 1st of 2024. Now, here's the thing about it. You can actually get these here cards with about a 660, 670 credit score. That's right. These are charge cards. Now, they do have a component in here that says that let us know how much you're planning on spending, right? So what it is is so you have $10,000. They say, okay, you, you can spend up to $10,000, right? But I'm going to tell you something because this can get you shut down. This can get your card shut down or suspended, so you don't want to do this. I'm going to tell you. Here's the thing about it. They say, okay. How much are you going to spend? So you say, okay, I'm going to spend $7,500. Then what they do, they have this thing, pay as you go, so that they know, okay, there's $7,500 you spend. You can make uh, payments on it. But if you spend over that $7,500, you have to pay that amount in full. So that other $2,500, if you go over that $7,500, you would have to pay that in full. But the $7,500, they'll put that on monthly payments, right? And so they'll give you maybe six months of payment, six, eight, six, nine, or 12 months of payment on that 7500 because it's a charge card. Remember, this is a charge card. Now, here's a, a thing that I was just saying about what can get you shut down, and this is very important. When they issue you this card, when you log in, it would say, check your spending power. When you check your spending power, all right, if you click that button three times, what happens automatically, it will trigger a financial review. And for those of you that may not know, a financial review is for them, they want you to show proof of your income. So they may want to see uh, your W-2s, they want to see taxes, they want to see pay stubs, all right? So in terms of when you first get the card, I would call in and say, hey, could you tell me what's my spending limit? Do not click that button. It will trigger a financial review. Stay away from that button, I'm telling you, all right? Now, that's number one that can get your card shut down. The another thing, another, excuse me, another thing that can get your card shut down, say that you have $10,000 as your spending limit and you max it out, you buy an inventory right? And you pay that card off the following month. You paid it off in full, and then you bought more inventory and paid it off. Because you did that, you maxed that card out multiple times in less than six months, they will do a financial review. They will suspend the card again until you show proof of income, proof of taxes, all right? Now, people talk about getting the American Express, but they don't explain this part of the game. And I'm going to tell you some of the easiest American Express cards you want to go after. Okay. But like I said, the reason I started with these cards, because I know for people, when they start in a business and stuff, the opportunity to have an American Express card, just a flashy, flashy type of situation or whatever. But I'm telling you, these cards, to me, I don't think they're worth it. Now, don't get me wrong. I do have an American Express Platinum on the personal side. But on the business side, I do not have these cards. 
I'm going to tell you the easiest cards that you should get. Now, these are the easiest credit cards you should go after, okay? The American Express Blue Business Cash, the American Express Blue Business Plus, and the Delta Sky Miles, all right? Now, here's the interesting thing about it. Many people that join American Express and they have a personal credit card, you can apply for multiple business credit cards, okay, without getting a hard inquiry. Now, when you first join American Express, they will pull your Experian and your TransUnion FICO 8 scores. Now, the interesting thing about it, you can actually do a pre-qualification and it'll tell you what cards you may qualify for. But I would tell you, these are the easiest cards you should go after. And these are the cards, these two cards are, would be my top two pick. I would pick these cards over that gold card and that platinum card. And here's the reason why. All right. Now, here's the interesting thing. They offer 0% interest on purchases. Okay. So you're not paying any interest on the purchases and stuff like that. Right. And the interesting thing about American Express, because I know some people wonder if you can use American Express to buy a car. Yes, you can use American Express to buy a car. Now, depending on the um, car lot or the place you're going to buy a car, some of them would only let you use it for the down payment. But with American Express, if they know that you're trying to buy a car and stuff, and depending on the limit of the car, they will let you use the car to pay it off. All right. But at the same time, this is the reason why I like these cards because of zero percent interest. I wish they did a balance transfer on these cards on the business side, but they don't. All right. But the good thing about it, if you max out these cards, it will not show up or affect you on the personal side. This is all on the business side. Now, again, if you miss a payment, then that's going to reflect. All right. But at the same time. One of the things about it, I continue to tell people, you do not want to burn American Express. American Express holds a serious grudge. I'm talking about 10 year plus grudge. All right. So they will go past 10 years. So if you burn them or one of their cards and you try to get another card, I don't care. It can be 10 years and they will not give you a card until you actually pay that bill. All right. So just keep that in mind with American Express. Now, again, like I said, these here three cards are your easiest cards. Now, that being said, in reference to building up the business credit, see American Express offer business bank accounts and they offer business savings accounts. Right. Which is great. They also offer business loans and business lines of credit. Now, with their business loans and business line of credit, you have to have at least a 640 or higher to get approved. But you have to also have a business credit card with them for at least a year, okay, to qualify for that. Now, the income you need in order to qualify for their business lines of credit and loan, you have to be producing at least $3,000 a year, okay, $3,000 a month for up to a year in order to qualify for their business loans and business lines of credit. Now, in terms of who they report to, they report to the Small Business Financial Exchange, and that information is tripled down to Experian and to Dunn and Bradstreet. So they do not report to Dunn and Bradstreet, because I know a lot of people, when they first start building business credit and everything, they worry about a Dunn's number, a Paydex score, uh, net 30s, and you don't have to have any of those. As a matter of fact, to get even these business credit cards, you don't actually have to have a business to qualify for these business credit cards. All right. So that's something you should know. That's a little inside information for some of you all. Now, let's look at the other card that we're going to compare this to. And this is the Capital One. All right. Now, here's the thing about it with Capital One. Capital One Business credit cards, they report to Experian Business, Equifax Business, Small Business Financial Exchange, and that information is shared with Dunn and Bradstreet. Now, both American Express and Capital One, they are tier one institutions. 
But here's the thing that changes with Capital One because Capital One is more of a flexible financial institution and because they offer this card here. This is their Capital One Spark Classic card. Now, the interesting thing about this Capital One Spark Classic card, all you need is at least a 580 credit score, okay? So in terms of which bank and which credit card you should start with, I would seriously consider looking at the Capital One, especially if you have iffy credit, low credit score. Again, a 580 credit score. Not only that, because as you use the card again, it's helping you build up your business credit. Now, another thing that helps you build up your business credit or your business bank rating is making sure that you have weekly and daily deposits going into your business bank account. Okay. Now, there's one other thing that people are not aware about Capital One. Now, I told you that American Express, if you have burnt them in the past with a charge off account and stuff like that, even if you paid it down to zero, they may not consider giving you another card for a certain amount of time, right? However, with Capital One, say that you did a, a charge off account with them, if that charge off account is over one year, that still will not disqualify you from getting a, um, a business credit card with them. It's, they, they actually look at it as two separate divisions. Now, here's the reason why many people don't like Capital One. It's because they do, they do a hard pull on all three credit bureaus. However, you can lock two of your credit bureaus so it makes them only pull one. But definitely, if you have at least a 580, this is probably the credit card I was business credit card I would start out with. And I would probably open up my business bank account with Capital One instead of American Express, okay? And then once my credit score gets, like I said, and once my credit score gets above like a 660, 670, then I would switch over to apply for American Express personal card and then apply for the business credit cards with American Express because you don't have to inquire any more hard inquiries, okay? Now, for those of you that may have questions about removing negative items off of your credit, um, getting access to business credit funding, personal credit funding, click the link in the description. Schedule a one-on-one -on -one consultation. Thank you.